around uh, 2018, I received a letter from the Jewish Museum in Amsterdam, in Holland, about their interest in one of my painting, a painting that is uh, called En Sof. That painting was a title that I guess attracted the curator of a show that was planned in Amsterdam called Kabbalah. It was a surprise to me because, you know, there is hundreds of, hundreds of thousands, I guess, or thousands of paintings and illustration that were created around Kabbalah. For me, being the grandson of a Kabbalist, my father's father, Rabbi Yoshua Gibson, it, um, it sent some sort of a message and something that was almost subliminal. So I said, yes, of course, the painting is in New York, in my studio. The size of it is about seven feet, and um, it's, uh, it will be available for the show. That, uh, that was then. A few months later, I think around nine months later, I was asked, is the painting still ready? I said, yes, of course. So the painting was uh, shipped to Amsterdam and it was part of this exhibit on Kabbalah that was encompassing art, music, uh, texts, religion, different subjects of interest to Kabbalah. And I realized the power of Kabbalah in the United States through some extraordinary attention given by the media. One of them was many, many years ago when a famous American singer by the name of Madonna was introduced to Kabbalah and in her most famous album, Ray of Light, Kabbalah was mentioned many, many times. As a matter of fact, MTV has called me to interview me about my relationship with Madonna through Kabbalah because at the time she was collecting my photography of Hasidic Jews, often Kabbalist, that she had purchased for me. MTV made a clip basically relating uh, Madonna's uh, interest in Kabbalah and associating my photography to her uh, interest in Kabbalah. And that clip was to promote an uh, album Ray of Light, which was an amazing success worldwide. And my contribution to that success was that video clip that I guess played for thousands and thousands of times. But this is only a small part of, of that story about uh, the show of Kabbalah in, in Amsterdam. And uh, a few months later, in the summer of 2019, I was in Amsterdam and I went to visit that exhibition at the museum with the curator. And it was, it was kind of an interesting realization because when I entered the museum, I saw that my painting, and Sof, was given the most important location in the museum and it was an amazing achievement 
for that painting and uh, incidentally for me to be featured with artists like Anselm Kiefer, Mark Chagall, Barnett Newman, and numerous other important painters that were in that show. A few months before, my own father visited Amsterdam and called me from there to say that he was very proud of me being in this show. So I, together with the curator, went over the show, looking at every piece from every artist and every document that was part of the exhibition. And it is at this time that I mentioned to the curator who was not aware of this relationship with Madonna, Kabbalah, and Ronagam. I have to admit that this was an absolutely extraordinary moment for me. Since I was in Amsterdam, I visited all of the museums there, especially the Van Gogh Museum and the Rijks Museum, and to see my work a few feet away in the Jewish Museum in this particular time, I was very proud, I must admit. It was a great, great moment of achievement in my career. Uh, the show at the Jewish Museum attracted a lot of people in Amsterdam since the concept of Kabbalah has attracted a lot of interest from so many people and it was such a diverse interest. I am, I am extraordinarily um, um, thankful to the curator to have included my, my painting there and as she has mentioned to me she believed that it was a painting that has really made the show a big success. So it was a great moment of pride to be in the company of such incredible artists like Chagall, like Barnett Newman, like Anselm Kiefer and many others, some of Israel's also important artists like Moshe Castell and Reuven Rubin, and to be part of that part of that team was a singular achievement, I think, for me at that time. 